Hello again, this is PowerDirector Android App 54, how to sync voice audio to a screen recording. This is something I do all the time for mine because I often either screen record my laptop or screen record my mobile like I'm doing now. So, tiny bit of background that may help some people. So what you see on screen is two sets of audio. The top one here is probably something like let's say you record a video and it has the microphone attached to the camera and that's what you get and the second one at the bottom is the microphone uh, separate audio let's say but you'll see that they're slightly out of sync like there look and there is a huge spike there about a third along and if you don't actually know and a lot of people don't some do is that's what a, a clapperboard is for so what you'll do is you'll run the cameras and the microphones then you go and and you'll hit a clap and that big clap noise sorry if that was a bit a little bit big makes that visual spike now if you're screen recording that doesn't actually happen so what i'm going to do is start a new project to show you exactly um, what i do with it and what i do is i give some visual clues um, also to let me just um type in audio s that that'll do it doesn't really matter um, and then start a brand new timeline because that's how I do it. So what I'm getting at is I will screen record and then record my audio only on my Zoom H2N that I'm speaking on now. So I'll show you what I do exactly. First thing I do, which has got to be with PowerDirector, is I'm going to add, quite honestly, a colour board there as a spacer, which I will delete later. Then I come along and let's say... Um, I record something like, I think it was download, the, the last video I actually made. And you can see that what actually happens is it puts the video along the spacer. In other words, I can make the spacer bigger or smaller as I wish to. And this is really important because what happens is that I've already recorded a separate audio with my Zoom H2N, which I've already uh, mixed and then popped it down to this hard drive on the phone and it happened to be um, this one here about Chrome Apps. And then you'll see it pushes it down. Now, what's happening now is if I play it back a little bit, just play it, I think that's playing, isn't it? Video in three, two, one, start. Sync test for W, C, P. Right, now what's happening here is that I've done a sync test and I'm saying something which is WCP and I've got to put that and sync it into, can you see the way the mouse pointer is going W, C and then P and then I can move it along to adjust it all. And there's another way I do it as well, if you listen to the start of the audio, what I'm about to say on here actually, I'll tell you what, let's, let's move it to over a bit, yeah, is that I go through and I start my audio recording first and then I start my screen record and I kind of like count it down. You'll hear me say something like um, screen recording in three, two, one, and then it starts, just listen. Video in Three, two, one, start. Okay, you see the way I, I put it together. So if I squeeze um, or pinch zoom rather, let's do that again. Three, two, one, start. Yeah, you see, so start has got to be exactly there, and that's where the spacer can be here. And I can push that spacer um, up or down as I wish to. Now, now I've got the spacer in, I can actually move this audio wherever I wish to, but without the spacer, I actually couldn't do that. I'll show you what I mean, is if I get the spacer or the colour board rather and put it down to be really, really small, you can see that I can get the audio down, but I can't get it um, any sort of to the left uh, because it's at point zero. Similarly, if I get this and push it up, it doesn't do anything. So the only way I can actually synchronise these two is by using the spacer like that. So if I go back down to say where it wasn't, I think you're getting the idea there, and then I'll show you the, the three point plan. So in other words, I start here. Video in three, two, one, start. Um, so, so let's say it was about there. Then what I do is I go in there and I, I, I get a visual clue with my eye to say, I think it was about there. And then what I do is I pull that spacer to about there. Then I go through and I pause a bit. You listen. Two, one, start. Those few seconds, by the way, all I'm actually doing is is calming down and sort of like um, thinking about what I'm about to say. And then, watch this. 
sync test for W C P. Now that's not quite right, is it? So so when it goes to W, I find out which bit is W. W. Right, W starts there. So in theory, the little mouse pointer there, top left, is actually near the W, and I think it is. So it's W. C, but C is quite wrong. Can you see C has got to be about there? So what that means is I can physically move this a bit. Let's see if it's moved it. Let's see if that's any better. Sync test for W C P. And that's even made it worse, isn't it? So it's like W C, which has got to be about there, and then P is about there. In, in actual fact what I've got to do is, what I normally do is I come in, uh, you can see why I can't move it any further is because my space is not big enough. So if I move my space up there suddenly we've given ourselves more control in that we can move around the the sliding in between the video and audio. I think we've seen enough here I think really. So let me just, just see where it goes through. So that was W was about there so it's W, it's about the uh, now I can get it along and I can move it along a bit. So it should be, let's have a look, W, C, P. Yeah, let's, now if it's, let's see if we're in sync. Let me have a little go and do that and then play this. Listen. Sync test for W, C, P. Boom. I would say I'm happy with that. So then, then what I do is I go back and then I, so I've, all, I've got all this which has got to be cut out and deleted. So what I do is I wait until I actually start the, the proper video. Here we go. Wait, just wait a second. And in these very short minutes we're going right, to... There's my start of my video. Then I go through and I'm at 22.2 and I, I cut off a second. So let's say about 21 point... That'll do. Then I tap, cut, tap, cut... Now I've got my cut points, that actually can just be deleted. See, now I've lost that audio, lost that piece of the video, but more importantly, I've got to lose the spacer, the colour card, and then I can come down confidently knowing that then I can move that all the way to the beginning, and that is the start of my video. Watch. And in these very short minutes, we're going to be looking at Windows 10. And that's absolutely fine. Then, quite honestly, at the end of it is a very easy cut. And then I come up to the very end. Which is over and out. And then I can come down and just literally move in and cut down. And sometimes I do a little edit there. So that was it, wasn't it, really? So that was how to synchronise um, standalone audio with a screen recording that does not have any sound. Good luck with it.